Hello and welcome back to another episode of Internal Rambles. This is your girl, Rochelle. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for tuning in. Internal Rambles is a podcast where I discuss trending entertainment topics, music, movies, TV shows. I also do reality show recaps. And I discuss pretty much anything that I'm interested in and give the news what's going on in the world and whatever is rambling racing in my thoughts and hopefully I discuss it in a way that you enjoy give you a little kiki and pretty much whatever I feel like talking about (laughs) that's internal rambles in a nutshell No, no rhyme or reason It is me discussing the happenings and the goings on in the entertainment world. I was recapping season two of Love and Marriage Detroit. Looks like they are on a little bit of a brief hiatus. Not sure when that is coming back. Hopefully I can finish that show up. I do plan on recapping the current season of Married at First Sight Chicago. I tend to not recap that until they get to the honeymoon, but we shall see. And that's that in a nutshell. Okay. (laughs) Checking in on you today. How are you doing? Hope you are doing well. If you celebrate Halloween, hope you had a great safe Halloween. I don't celebrate Halloween. I stopped doing that once my little brother became of age and said he didn't want to go trick-or-treating anymore. And thankfully, I didn't have to take him. (laughs) And also, back in the day when I was younger, college age, and maybe a little bit after that, you know, I would get dressed up and go to the bars. And that was just an excuse to go out and go drinking, truth be told. But yeah, I don't celebrate Halloween. But if you do, hope you had a great safe time. And yeah. So let's get into what's happening in the entertainment world. What's trending, what folks are talking about, what is happening in our news feed currently. Okay? Alrighty. Okay, so you pretty much can't get on social media right now without hearing that Young Thug is free. He has, I'm guessing he's released. Um, He has agreed to a plea deal, will not have to serve prison time as long as he abides by the terms of his sentence. So I'm going to read what the plea deal was. So he was sentenced to a total of 40 years. Five years were to be served in prison, but that was commuted to time served. 15 years he will have to serve on probation and a backloaded of 20 years will be commuted to time served as long as he com- as long as he complies with his probation conditions. If he doesn't, he will have to complete the 20 years in prison. So also as a result of his probation, he will have to stay away from the metro Atlanta area for the first 10 of 10 years of his probation, except for weddings, funerals, graduations, or if an immediate family member is ill, he can arrive 24 hours before the event, but must leave within 48 hours. Um... He also must participate. It looks like he must do some community service, 100 hours of community service, and cannot have any, knowingly have any contact with gang members. 
or have any gang activity or promote any gang activity he can't contact anyone that ha that has any had anything to do with their case can't own guns etc so um i didn't realize i remember thinking to myself recently like man how long has young thug been in jail i think it's been about two years and i could be mistaken um uh and if i'm if i am wrong forgive me but yeah it's been a long time and you know whatever you may think about young thug or young thug or the case i'm just stating the facts of what has occurred he is not currently you know he's being released on probation time served and that's what happened so you know hopefully at the end of the day he listen ugh, they were trying to throw the house the car the building the library everything at him you know for him to go away for i think he could have served like 40 plus years in prison had he been found guilty so hopefully you know he takes heed and you know stays out of trouble because trust and believe if prosecutors or whoever have their way they will make sure that he they will try to make sure that he uh goes to prison so hopefully you know he i i i would admit i would imagine that that you know that would be pr probably a little bit anxiety provoking like man you know but a whole new lease on life continue his career and and make you know turn this into a positive thing hopefully so um yeah young thug free man i will say though i wasn't like i said i wasn't following the case fully but there was a lot going on in this case and i already know there's going to be netflix netflix hulu lifetime who's going to be the first one <laughs> i'm sure that the movie's already written it now they about to go shoot it <laughs> it's just crazy so um yeah so you know shout out to young thug and that's it uh moving on to where i want to where do i want to go uh following up from my last episode I, I was talking about love is blind i hadn't finished the season yet um i don't think i'm gonna watch the reunion well let me be honest i'm not in a rush to watch the reunion i have finished the show i did watch the wedding episode of love and love is blind but i'm not i did watch a review of the reunion and it they told me all i needed to know <laughs> this was a crazy season and i've come to the conclusion that love is blind is just for entertainment if someone is like cameron and lauren and they get to which you know beautiful couple lovely couple and they really find true love and live happily ever after that's just a bonus but the majority of the people well no let me let me just start love the, the people that create and or cast love is blind they play around they don't vet the people this is an entertainment tv show to them and they show this recent in recent seasons they've been showing that to us they haven't been vetting these people you know i don't know if it was last season or season before last supposedly allegedly they casted people from and they they got their cast some of the people from instagram like hey you want to be on love is blind <laughs> um it's just been problematic whereas you know with a show like married at first sight they literally show their vetting process of we really they really do try to find people who want to get married now if these people lie and sh then show they tell they like listen we showed you what we did you know um <laughs> we tried 
And I do really genuinely feel as though with Merit at First Sight that Dr. Pepper and Dr. Pia and Pastor Cal really genuinely are invested in the good of finding people that genuinely want to live happily ever after and wedded bliss. Nick Lachey and his wife, we don't even see them. We see them in the beginning a little bit in like third quarter and then at the reunion. They don't try to coach. They don't provide guidance. They just, they created the show maybe or something. I don't know. We don't really know why they're there. I don't really watch the reunions, so I can't really say because the show upsets me and agitates me so much. I don't even get to the reunion. <laughs> um, and I like Nick Lachey, you know, I don't really know his wife like that, but I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know. Okay. Um... So, I mean, it. I'm, I'm going to say spoiler alert, you, if you haven't watched it by now, I mean, the show's over, okay? Um, nobody got married, two couples got married. <laughs> and really, one of the couples that got married, child, we, we still scratching our heads on Ashley and Tyler, okay? Because of all the stuff that's come out. You know, she she's like, I'm but I'm I'm gonna stick beside him and we not understanding why, you know. He had three uh children and try to act like he ain't know about them babies. But you 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 was in them kids' lives, Tyler. We we know the truth. Whether she wants to accept you know, not our business. We know there's more to the story, you know, allegedly, but we know, you know, okay, okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> and then Hannah was just, you know, I talked about, you know, and then I really feel really bad for, of course, her name evades me right now, um, Ramsey's, the one that was with Ramsey's, let me get her name, um, Because he was just, you know, he got what he wanted and then was like, I do this. And Marissa, she didn't deserve that, you know. And supposedly, again, I didn't watch the reunion, but, you know, she said that she, Marissa, supposedly said that she's still trying to heal from the BS that Ramsey's put her through. But, you know, at the end of the day, she will see, I do believe she'll see the light of the tunnel that really she dodged 22 bullets, 23 bullets, because marrying him would have just been that much more trauma and drama than what she's already experiencing so it just was a an s show of a season <laughs> but are we still gonna watch if when it comes back on again yes we are you know i just need them to have much more quality people who truly are looking not for a come up not to be insta famous or whatever it is they're searching for. I don't know. They think they about to get a brand deal. They think they about to get a spinoff show. I don't know. Homegirl quit her job. I quit my job to get married. Girl, why? Why you did that? Huh? Hmm? That's enough about Love is Blind. I mentioned a show that if you haven't watched it, I recommend it. It's Queen's Court. I finished it so I can really speak to it. It's on Peacock. It is the hosts are Holly Robinson Pete and her husband. Um that is a good show. 
because they are in um they really are there for um what's her husband name Rodney Pete they are really there Holly is there for the women Rodney is really supportive of the men so season two has um K Michelle um oh my god K Michelle um Lisa Ray and Delicious she goes by London her real name now and they go on dates and it's really really good and yeah the only thing I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it but I would say I don't know I kind of wish I mean I wonder with K. Michelle and Lisa with K. Michelle I wonder you know K. Michelle's about to release and and she doesn't need promotion but I'm like girl were you here did you know you know I don't know but it was good I enjoyed it and I I hope they continue to have good seasons and they really are there every step of the way it's kind of similar to like maybe uh ready to love but different and better as it's an actual married couple that's coaching the women and, and the men and stuff. So I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, in some movie news, Martin Lawrence announced that there will be a sequel to his movie Blue Streak. Everyone's doing, um, everyone's doing, um, sequels. Let me see if I can find the post. Of course, I can't find the... Yeah, that's all I really have is that there's going to be a sequel. That's all I got right now. But then also, it's been announced that there's going to be a scary movie sequel... So I don't even know what number that's going to be. Let's see. Marlon Wayans announced that. So let's see what he said about that. I think that's what they just announced that there after 20 years there's going to be another um, scary movie. So they had been alluding that there's going to be a new Wayans project. So a lot of people were saying, I'm living color, I'm living color. But nope, scary movie. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, um, I like the scary movies. I mean, anything with the Wayans brothers I'm going to support. So I'm really enjoying the Papa's House. I mentioned that that has Damon Wayans Sr. and Damon Wayans Jr. And their so their Wayans are writing on that. And I mean, anything that Wayans are doing, they incorporate the family. So yeah, 
so there's gonna be another scary movie i don't know which number it is but there's gonna be that so little movie announcements and i have a show recommendation oh my god i binge watched this whole season one season two i had never even heard of this show but on paramount plus it's in season two currently um i think they're on the ep- the next episode will be episode three it's called lioness it has uh i was gonna say sana is not sana sorry zoe saldana morgan freeman and michael kelly you may know him from house of cards it is so good i watched the first two episodes and went back and binge watched the first season which i think had like maybe eight episodes that show is amazing i and also um nicole kitman is in that show too let me get the synopsis of it because if you want if i explain it child you'd be like girl what that show about (laughs) let me see if i can um Oh, I want to get a good one. So season two, this is really quick. The series follows three women in the CIA's lioness program, which sends female opera- operatives under co- undercover into dangerous criminal organizations. That's like a quick, basically it's about the CIA and dangerous operatives and espionage and all that great stuff and it is just action-packed and it is so good so if you're into that type of stuff cia and undercover government stuff it's good it's good it's good it's good that's a quick fast and dirty okay you know cia fbi all that stuff really good really good really good recommend and like I said, heavy hitters, you got Nicole Kidman, Morgan Freeman, Zoe Saldana. It is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm mad that uh, it's happening in real time because I wanted to binge watch <laughs> the second season too. <laughs> so that's it. Um, quick question. I was thinking about this for you. What's a show that you can watch and it's like an older i mean it could be a new show and you can watch it like over and over again and like it's in every time you see it it's like you've seen it a million times but it's like when you watch it it's like you've never seen the episodes before you love it like you like it's the first time that you've seen it um someone that i I follow on social media she was saying how she watches um um Breaking Bad episodes over and over again and now she's getting into Vampire Diaries I've never watched any of those shows but I know like some people watch like um I know someone was saying that they watch like Gilmore Girls I know some people like really love Sex in the City I've never watched those shows um but I I mean I understand um but for moi <laughs> for me Martin like I still to this day like if I don't like if I just want something like really quick to watch or like say like I'm like I may I have errands to run like say it's a Saturday morning I have errands to run I just and I'm eating breakfast really quick like out there on Martin and those episodes like I own I own all the seasons on yes DVD I have DVDs but I don't watch the DVDs I just you know I'll watch see the episodes on Prime or something um 
but my favorite season is probably season two um and i'll just watch an episode from season and it's from season two or whatever season and i'll die laughing like um i ain't never seen the episode before <laughs> so that's a show like i can watch over and over again um and it's like comforting you know or if i just want like something like you know i'm super stressed i just want something to just like take my mind off of things i'll put on some i'll watch like multiple episodes of martin um and also right now um I, I had like a phase a little while ago i don't know when it was and i'm going back to that like i'll revisit old episodes of sanford and son and i'm going back like i i think i own i don't know if i own all the seasons but i know i own multiple seasons of sanford and son and i'm back i'm on season i think i'm on season one i don't know if i, I got to season two yet but I'm back revisiting Sanford and Son. And, you know, it's kind of comforting, too, because it reminds me of, like, you know, growing up and we would watch, my family would watch Sanford and Son. And, you know, I've seen, like, all the episodes, but they're still, like, super hilarious. And it just, it goes to show, like, how timeless, like, shows are. But then it's kind of funny to see, like, um, something they were buying, they wanted to buy, and it was like $3, and I'm like, child, that stuff is not $3 anymore, they were fighting over, like, how expensive it was, I'm like, child, <laughs> it definitely ain't $3 no more, but yeah, so, like, what's a show, let me know, hit me up, my website, internalramblespodcast.com, or on YouTube, what's a show that you can watch over, and you do watch over and over again, that that's like your comfort show that's like your you know that you enjoy that you do watch over and over again when you can let me know and put me on some shows i be trying to watch find some good shows to watch too so let there's definitely some things that i've never seen before so let me know all right so i've been trying to um practice self-care like I mentioned like just things have been super stressful and things are letting up for like most things not everything but yeah I'm doing okay like I'm definitely doing a bit better um in most areas not everywhere but yeah I'm doing I'm doing okay like let's let me mention that I am doing okay um but I um the lady that does my eyebrows, she was um, telling me about, because she does facials as well, and I always wanted to do, I've never done a facial, and I've always been nervous about it because I've heard kind of, to me, like horror stories about like how your skin sometimes can purge because and break out because basically it's cleansing, the, the facial can trigger your skin because it basically cleansed from deep down within and I'm like I do not want to be breaking out but she was explaining to me that that doesn't always happen and it depends on the type of facial she was explaining to me the different types of facials and actually like you that's actually not a bad thing because getting all the gunk in your face and just as I've as I've gotten older a little bit older like my and just with stress like I'm not prone to like bad breakouts but I do get like hormonal and like stress and stress eating I'm getting a little few a few little breakouts but um my skin has been a little bit crazy lately and but I just want like the self-care aspect of like you know just want to try a facial she's like you know if anything just try it once you may not you may love it but she's like you know if I always she's like I always encourage women or people whoever she's like just to do it once just to have the experience and she was like you know there's so many different types you know you can do at least try it one time and then she gave me like a coupon like a discount she's like I just want you to try it once and of course I mean sure it's business for her but um child you give me a deal (laughs) you got me through the dough so I'm trying to figure out what day I want to, I know she's going on vacation this month, but I, I'm excited because I do plan on scheduling to get it because I've always wanted to do it. And I actually 
had a friend who used to do it um, because she had acne prone skin and then she cleared her skin um, by going to a dermatologist and then once that happened child she was like skincare queen I'm gonna go get my facials I'm gonna go do this and I get my steamers and um so yeah I'm excited about that so I'm gonna at least try it once and we'll see what happens <laughs> Um, I just want to, um, I just want the self care, like, cause it just, it, the one that I want, it, it's very, it, it just sounds so luxurious. I'm like, let me get up in there and get a little self care, get them, get the little massages and the steamers and all that stuff. And, you know, I'm like, okay, girl. <laughs> get the you know I want the cucumbers on the eyes and all that stuff uh, so I'm excited about that um and then it's pretty much holiday season so which I mean holidays for me you, you know I've I've gotten better with them they used to be just like womp womp once my father passed but I've gotten a bit better with getting in the holiday spirit but another question for you when do you start I don't decorate but I'm getting I've gotten into decorating the outside of my house I started this summer just little like putting out so for the summer i had some plants out in the front for the I right now I have like fall decorate decorations and then I'm going to switch over to I'm not doing Christmas decorations because my mother's like this makes no sense but I don't want to have to change it after Christmas I just want more like wintry so that I don't have to change it after Christmas and I don't I want something that I can keep out until spring it makes sense in my head we're gonna rock with it (laughs) but when do you when is it Christmas season for you so when do you put up your tree so I was watching a video by Kev on stage and he said that it's Christmas season starting November 1st so right after Halloween that's Christmas season and some people was like yup you got it right yup he was like, Thanksgiving is just a part of Christmas season. It's just a, the holiday before Christmas. <laughs> Other people, and honestly, this is where I've always learned pe- that feel that Christmas starts the day after Thanksgiving, Christmas season. So what are your thoughts? When does the Christmas season, when do you put up the tree? So in my family... When we were younger, the the tree didn't come up, I believe, typically until after Thanksgiving. But now my mom is like obsessed with decorating. Child, she um she don't care. She because there's no kids, she'll put up a tree whenever. If she puts up a tree or decoration, she'll put it up whenever. Like once it's you know November, she'll put it up. So she don't care. So I mean, I think you know it's whatever you want I feel like if you got your I, I kind of feel like October is a little early um but I think once it start getting cold and it's November I think it's okay to start bringing out the tree you know that's me <laughs> once that temperature start changing go ahead yeah I mean I don't know it, I'm fine with it I'm fine with it because I don't decorate like I don't put up Christmas I don't have kids I don't put up Christmas tree and like I said I'm my decor is gonna be winter you know and I keep a nativity globe in my like one of those snow globes year round in my house so you know who am I to you know I, I got Jesus in a manger in, in my house year round <laughs> hmm so I really can't talk. I don't know. 
But yeah, let me know your thoughts on my two questions that I posed today. I would like to know what you're thinking. Um, I think that is all that I have to talk about today. Um, <laughs> last but not least, I can't tell you who, to, I mean, I, maybe I could, who to vote for, but if you are in the United States of the America, please be sure to vote. You can early vote. I early voted. That's my first time early voting and I am so glad that I did it. Early vote, early vote, early vote, early vote. Um, well, let me make sure I'm not sure when early voting um, is the cutoff so let me not give you misinformation early voting dates let's see yep you can early vote through November 3rd I believe so if you can early vote get out and vote but also November 5th and you know not too long ago we, some of us didn't even have the right to vote so I definitely feel very proud to have been able to go and exercise that right make sure you vote on November 5th know your voting site exercise your right to vote very important very important know where to go what the times are get out there and vote and you may have to wait so I'm, I had a 30 minute wait and that was not even and I early voted and that wasn't the I was very blessed because that wasn't even nothing compared the volu the the people at the voting site said some of the other sites there was a two hour vote so be prepared but don't be distressed you you will make it but just you know prepare for whatever you know <laughs> the situation may be um but that just you know that's actually not a bad thing it just means people are out there exercising their right to vote so be prepared and get out there and vote okay 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 now let's get into what i do at the end of my episodes that is the song of the podcast that is a song that i have in heavy rotation that i'm loving it could be an oldie but goodie it could be a new song that i'm loving and i'm wearing out on my playlist that I'm recommending to you because I love it and I hope that if it's new to you, you will listen to it and love it and add it to your playlist. Or if it's a song that you know but may have forgotten about, you'll listen to it and add it to your playlist or revisit it and love it and play it a lot as well. And let's see what song I have for y'all today. This song is called Love and Lust, and it's by an artist that I actually know nothing about. Her name is Shredda. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Uh, someone that I follow on social media was playing it, and I was like, ooh, what's that song? And I instantly loved it. So it's Love and Lust by Shredda. Listen to it and I hope you like it as much as I've been loving it and playing it over and over. Believe she's a new artist, that's why I actually don't know anything about her. So Love and Lust by Shredda. Hope you like it as much as I do. Again, thank you for tuning in. Truly appreciate you for doing so. Subscribe to me so that you get my episodes if you listen to my past episodes catch up on my recaps of love and love and marriage detroit so that when i get back to it you'll be all caught up tell your loved ones about me so they can get in on this content too let me know again about my questions that i asked let me know your thoughts on the holidays 
And what shows do you watch over and over that's your comfort, your guilty pleasures? It doesn't have to be a good, your guilty pleasure, but something that you love and you watch over and over again. Put me on to some shows too. And take care of yourself. Self care, very, very, very important because you met her. And until next episode, this is your girl, Rochelle.